please show the support guys if you like this video then please hit the like button like this and also share this video by hitting this share button and please hit this red subscribe button and turn all notifications by selecting all so you will get all the notifications of my channel it is totally free uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at a practical example on how to scrape a website uh, which is uh, internet movie da database so this is a movie database website we will be scraping this website the data that is title of the film the release date of the film and the rating that has given to the film using a node.js library which is Cheerio. so let me just show you the demo what we will be building in this tutorial so this is the website here imddb.com internetmoviedatabase.com i have uh, opened this film jurassic park and uh, let me just show you an example here so this is my node.js server let me just start the server by executing the command which is npm start so this will start my node.js application and you will see that i am using nodemon so which will automatically start my node.js server here you can see that server is listening on port 5000 so this is my server if i uh, uh, click enter here you will see that in the console it will grab the title which is jurassic park it will grab the release date which is 1993 and it will grab the rating which has given which is 8.1 and it will create this json file in the active directory output.json and we will store this information which has three properties title release and rating so we will be building this application from scratch guys using the library which is uh, cheerio in node.js so this will be a very practical example on how to do web scraping with node.js so let's get started let me just delete all the code from and uh, let's start from scratch in the package.json file i have installed these dependencies which are cheerio express is our server and nodemon which will automatically restart our server and the request module which will be helpful to make request so just uh, do npm install cheerio express nodemon and request and now in the index.js we just need to get our express here by requiring it we just need to put here require inside this we will put express and also we need the request module so we will be requiring it so require request and also we will be requiring the cheerio library so require we will be requiring this cheerio library so just write here in single quotes cheerio and also we will be requiring it guys the file system module in order to write files so we also this is a built-in module of node.js you need not have to install it let me just delete this output.json file and we will be creating a new file when we grab the data and now guys we need to declare some variables for our data which will be title release date and the rating of the film so just delete uh, just declare it and also we will be making a j object which is which will hold the json for us so this will hold three properties first is a title which is empty and the release date which will also be empty at the starting of the application uh, click no here and the third property is will be the rating guys so put a comma so this will be the rating so we have declared a object here which will hold three properties title release and rating which will be uh, empty at the starting of the application now we just need to make a simple express app guys and which will be listening on uh, port 5000 let me have a callback function also which will be telling it in the console that uh, server is listening on port 5000 and now if i launch this application guys you will see that server is listening on port 5000 and now our server is listening and now we just need to make a simple get request on the route which will be slash scrape and this will be a callback function which will hold the request and the response and this is arrow function and now inside this we just need to write our scraping code and now we just need to define a variable which will be url so right here at the top you can just declare a url variable so this will simply hold the url for the website that you want to scrape let me just go to the website and copy this link and here you just need to initialize in the 
to the variable that you have declared so url is equal to and you will copy paste the url and now guys you just need to make use of the request module so request and pass the url and then it takes the callback function which will hold the actual error if any kind of error take place and it will hold the response and the html of the website this is very much important we need the html uh, so that we can just parse our uh, cheerio library so we will declare a dollar variable and we will initialize our cheerio and loading the html of the website passing this html and now we can also console log the html you can see that if i console log the html and if i go back to the website here uh, go and if i just uh, go to this route you will see that all the html will be there inside the console so this library is very powerful which is cheerio it can grab the html the website so that we can just scrape it and now we just need to scrape the title of the uh, film so this is very simple guys so let me just show you how to do that in order to scrape any kind of uh, element in a website just right click and go to inspect here so i will be right clicking on the title of the website which is jurassic park and now you we can clearly see that it is wrapped under a h1 tag which holds jurassic park here and the parent element is is this div here which has a class of title wrapper so we will be making use of this thing so we can just declare a uh, selector here so if you are familiar with jquery it is very simple this cheerio library is very simple if you are a good student of jquery so we will be making a selector which will target the class which was uh, title underscore wrapper and we will use the filter method of this library and uh, this will have a callback function and we will store the reference inside a data variable so we will store this reference here dollar this so we have just uh, you can see that we have uh, selected this element by its class here you can see that title underscore wrapper and now we just need to grab this h1 tag text here we can do this by simply be uh, selecting the title we will be uh, storing the title in this title variable and we will be invoking data dot children method and inside this we need to target the first children and we need to get the text so we will be getting the calling this text method that's it and now we can just console log the title here on the screen if we want to and uh, now if i re relaunch the application for you and if i go to this scrape here and you will see that it will be uh, you can see that it is printing out let me just see what is the problem here it is not printing out the console log title so here we are targeting it by the uh, class that it has given let me just see what is the class name which is title underscore wrapper okay and after that uh, we are uh, using the filter method and this has a uh, callback function data this uh, data dot children dot first dot text console log title so we are printing out the title guys no problem was there with the, uh, with the code it was just a problem with this my server here so now if you re reload the server it will uh, hopefully print out a title of the film here if i reload the server here you will see that jurassic park 1993 so it has it is successfully printing out this title of the web uh, title of the film now we can just store this inside our json object which will be json dot title we will be storing it in the title property is equal to title that's it and now we have successfully scraped the title of the film now we just need to scrape the release date for that let me just show you how to do this just go to the again the process will be very similar we will be selecting this by inspect element here the release date here 1993 so inside this we can clearly see that this holds a div which has a class of uh, you can see that title year so this is a span which has a id in this case title year so this is a parent element and inside this we have a anchor tag which has a text of 1993 so we can just write again use of this filter method in this case we can just pass out the it here which is a title 
year and inside this we can just make use of the filter method so inside this we can just make a reference of the data once again and this time we can just target the release property again we will use data dot children it is a first children and we need to target the first element and we need to grab the text and now we can just console log uh, the release date also and lastly we can just store it inside our object which will be json dot release release and now if i refresh the application guys if i go back to the server if i reload this hopefully it will print out 1993 you will see that it is printing out the release year 1993 so now we are successfully grabbing the two properties which are there and now we just need to grab the rating of the film here which is 8.1 for this we also we can just inspect element and uh, we can go here you can see that 8.1 is there this is there in the span tag and you need to just look at the parent elements so in this parent element it is a div element which has a class of rating value so we just need to target this class here inside this we have a strong element and inside the strong element we have the span so we just need to write here again we will be using this filter method but the selector will be different so just make sure to look at so we will be first of all be targeting the rating value class let me just show you the class here rating value inside this we have a strong tag we will write here strong and then we will be applying the filter method and now we will grab the reference by declaring this data variable and now the rating will be equal to data dot children again this property data dot children dot first dot text and now we can just console log our rating also and lastly we can just write json dot rating is equal to rating and now if i reload the application guys for you if i again start my server hopefully it will print out this time the rating also so just wait you can see that 8.1 is printed out you can see that and we have successfully grabbed scraped scraped all the three properties which was title of the film release date of the film and the rating of the film now we just need to write a simple json file in our server in our current directory so for that we will be making use of uh, a just after this we will write our json file for that we will be making use of file system module which will have a method of write file inside this we will uh, name our uh, uh, variable or name of the file which will be output dot json and comma what data that you want to pass in this case we need to pass uh, our uh, json file so we will be wrapping this inside json.stringify it will convert it into a string and after that it takes the second argument as null and the third argument as four that's it and the third argument will be the callback function if any kind of error take place we can just uh, or we can just neglect this step or we can just console log here that is uh, file successfully created check your directory that's it and also we can just send out a sweet little message to the browser also response dot send check your cons check your directory file is created that's it so the application is complete guys so now if i relaunch the application hopefully it will have a message that is uh, file is successfully created So you can see that guys it has the, the print uh, message is printed file successfully created check your directory and also here also check your directory file is created let me just check the file here output.json is created and if i look this you will see that it has three properties title release and rating and one mistake is there guys there is some uh, space out there you can see that in order to remove the space we need to just uh, call a simple method which will be trim Whenever we store our title here, we can just 
call this trim method which will remove all the space you can see that and now if I just uh, delete this file and once again rerun my uh, server so hopefully it will now write this file you can see that file is created and now if I look into the file here you can see that so this you can just repeat for any uh, film guys you can just uh, select any film if I select this film the bunk 3 uh, I just need to change the URL property here and here you can just play with the application and uh, here just need to replace here this URL here and now if you re rerun your server it will be replacing the contents it will be changing if I just again rerun the application now hopefully it will now grab the title and the year and the rating of the film so just wait it is uh, starting here oh sorry <laughs> now now if I refresh it hopefully it will have so you can see that guys Dabang 3 2019 2019 and 4.6 it is a rating and now if I uh, see my file here you can see that Dabang 3 2019 so you can do this with any kind of film here in the internet movie database website. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video then please hit the like button and also comment, uh, comment and also subscribe the channel and also tap the notification bell icon. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then thank you very much.